This game will not define us. It will make us stronger. The stick together, remember that rope? The tighter you pull, the stronger it gets. On the one ball, there are a lot of talented backs, but they're all unselfish. That's why we we're trying to get everybody united in 100 to one. We trying to be one. We trying to bring 100 people to one. The number one goal is to keep all of our players safe and healthy uh, as much as we possibly can. All this talking we do is not just talk. United from start to finish. This game will not define us. It will make us stronger. Everybody hear that? Let's worry about us. We're going to be the best version of us. This is part of our journey. We talked about the video. When you jump, you're going to have strength. You're going to hit the rocks. But you keep going anyway. You keep going anyway. That's what we got an opportunity to do. Let's stick together. Remember that rope? The tighter you pull, the stronger it gets. I didn't see anybody quit. I'm proud of that. Can we be committed to that? Yes, sir. No matter what, stay committed. Let's be proud of who we are, and we'll move on on our journey. Talk about that big windshield, that small rear view mirror. It's that windshield is so much bigger. The opportunity for this team, the potential of this team is so much bigger. It's so much bigger if we'll keep our eyes set straight ahead. Wow, like you mean it, let's go. One team, one team, one green, one green, one green, one RB, one RB. United on two, one two. United. Be a running back here at USF, protect the ball. Right? There's only one of them, protect the quarterback. Be coachable, make the first man miss. My game, I'm, I feel like I'm AI into football. Like, at any moment, I can cross you Ball over. to the race is Mr. Ford. Johnny I'm gonna give you the inside scoop to the dead leg. It's really turning your head. Once, because the defender always looks at your eyes. So like, if my head turns this way, he think I'm going this way. So he'll open up his body that way. Oh, the Bulls have plenty of speed to match this system of Charlie Weiss Jr. Elusive. I try to be as elusive as I could be. Um, try not to get touched. In the end zone, Kelly Joyner. Only one ball. There are a lot of talented backs, but they're all unselfish. They all root for each other. They all want to see each other do well and excel. And it excites them to see one another do well. That's big. Come on, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. When things get tough, that makes boys to men. And that can turn men to boys. So it's all on like which one you want to be. So when things get tough, you got to rise to the occasion. You can't back down. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Um, as long as you stay the same, it'll come back around. That's why we we're trying to get everybody united in 100 to 1. We trying to be one. We trying to bring 100 people to one. We have a, a lot of guys with a lot of ability. Um, and most importantly, we have the pieces up front and on the secondary to get us to that second level. And once we do that, we're pretty dangerous. Hey Bulls fans, Coach Scott here. Kick off football game days with breakfast at Wendy's. You can score a free honey butter chicken biscuit on game day mornings with any other breakfast purchase. Go Bulls! The number one goal is to keep all of our players safe and healthy as much as we possibly can. So I think USF Health has really allowed us to have a football season this year. You know, what they've done is actually they've allowed us to test people three times a week. So the Monday ones to test are PCR tests, which is the most accurate way to test people for COVID-19 right now. So, and then Friday is a rapid test. So we make sure we test everybody before we travel, before we go to hotel away or home game. So it's really allowed us to make sure nobody's positive when we get on the bus. We could not wait for the commercial labs to come back in anywhere from three to seven days. Lately, we've been able to get results back in about five hours. To be able to get that information back to them in a very timely manner, that allows them to focus on the things that we really want them to focus on as student athletes. So Dr. Sneed's really kind of taken over the whole testing protocol and has really helped us out getting materials such as tubes to put the swabs in, getting swabs and actually working with the lab to make sure we get the results back by 5 p.m. that same day. COVID is something we're fighting every day. You know, it's not one of those, oh, today it's not a big deal. You know, but if it means to postpone the game until 
December when, when uh, you know, we're able to safely play. You just got to take every day uh, as a new day and uh, ultimately come in with a mindset of, uh, you know, keeping your players and, and coaching staff safe. And then anything that we get to do past that on the football side is really icing on the cake this year. You know, ultimately the guys were disappointed and I just kind of told them, hey, you know, we got, you know, 24 hours. Let's, uh, you know, try to turn the page and uh, worry about, you know, what's in front of us. And the biggest thing is really communicating with everybody. It's from administration, it's to the coaches, it's to the parents. And then it's also to the people that are getting quarantined and their parents and explaining to them why they're quarantined, even though they might not be positive and how we're trying to protect them. I think our players have really bought in, you know, I think our whole team has really bought in. You know, all of our players and staff and coaches, everybody's very diligent about wearing a mask. So it's been great to see, I know some other staffs, that doesn't happen, but for us, it's really been tremendous seeing how much the players have bought in.